Top 7 Best Budget Gaming GPU in 2022. Through extensive research and testing, I have put together the list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or particular use, we have got you covered. For more information, I have put links of products in the description. Make sure to check it out. Like the video, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Number 7. GeForce RTX 3060 Ti When we tested the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, we felt it might be the best of the bunch for NVIDIA's Ampere GPU. It has all the same features as the other 30 series GPU, with a starting price of just $399. In theory, of course, as it naturally sold out just as quickly as all the other new graphics cards. Things have improved, however, and the lowest price we can find right now is down to around $525, which is still $125 more than MSRP. The 3060 tie beat the previous gen 2080 Super in our testing, winning in every game we ran. It's also only about 9% lower than the RTX 3070, but cost 20% less. If you're still sitting on an older GTX 1070 or RX Vega 56, the 3060 Ti is up to twice as fast, sometimes even more, in the latest games. Number 6. Radeon RX 6600 XD AMD answer to the RTX 3060 sort of comes via the Navi 23 architecture. Normally, we'd expect a 32CU variant of Navi 22 dubbed the RX 6700 non-XD, but AMD trim CU counts, memory interface width, and infinity cache sizes to get a smaller and less expensive chip that still performs well. Note that the Radeon RX 6700 now apparently exists with 10 GB of VRAM. Performance ends up slightly above the previous gen RX 5700 XD, which is impressive considering the memory bus has been cut in half to just 128 bits. There's understandable concern with the 8GB of VRAM, however, and there are certainly cases where the RTX 3060 ends up as the better choice. Still, it's surprising how much even a 32MB Infinity cache seems to boost performance when you look at the memory bandwidth. This is basically a chip that's smaller than Navi 10, built on the same TSMC N7 node, and it delivers 10, 15% better frame rates at 1000 day type. Number 5. GeForce RTX 3060 As we approach the lowest end of the price and performance ladder with NVIDIA's desktop and pair lineup, the cuts to processing power may have gone too far. This is the first GA106 card with a 192-bit memory interface and 12GB VRAM, which is quite a bit better than the RTX 3050 but still a big step down from GA104. With 26% fewer GPU cores compared to the 3060 Ti, and less memory bandwidth, overall performance is only on the level of the RTX 2070. So, two and a half years later, you can now match a $500 graphics card with a $330 alternative. Unfortunately, demand still surpasses supply, and the cheapest RTX 3060 cards typically go for around $400. Still, Given the performance we saw in our testing, the RTX 3060 delivers a great overall value, factoring in ray tracing and DLSS performance. Number 4. Radeon RX 6700 XD Start with the Navi 21 GPU, and then cut down the various functional units to create a smaller die that can sell at lower prices, and you have AMD Navi 22 and the RX 6700 XD. The RX 6750 XD is basically the same GPU, with a slight boost to clock speeds, memory speeds, and power consumption about 5% faster overall, but with a 10% price hike. The 6700 XD is the same number of GPU cores as the previous generation RX 5700 XD, but significantly higher clock speeds and more cash give it about a 25% boost to performance at higher settings and resolutions at least to use. When we tested AMD RX 6700 XD, it hit clock speeds in excess of 2.5 GHz during gaming sessions, and that's at stock on the reference card. With some tuning and overclocking, we were able to hit speeds of 2.7, 2.8 GHz, still without cooking the GPU. That's very impressive and factory overclocked cards can push even higher clocks, though they also cost more. In our performance testing, the RX 6700 XD traded blows with the RTX 3070, 
an RTX 3060 Ti. It's a bit faster than the latter, and a bit slower than the former, so the going price of around, still, if we include pretty much any games with DLSS or ray tracing, the 6700 XD comes in behind the 3060 Ti and almost looks like a 3060 competitor. Number 3. GeForce RTX 3090 Ti. For some, the best graphics card is the fastest card, pricing be damned. NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3090 Ti caters to this category of user at more than double the official starting price of the RTX 3080, performance is only moderately better, 20-30% in most workloads. It's also only 5-10% faster than the previous RTX 3090, with an even higher MSRP. But looking at online prices, the 3090 Ti may only cost a couple hundred more than a 3090. And who are we kidding? Anyone seriously considering either of these probably doesn't need to worry about a few Benjamins. The RTX 3090 Ti will reign as NVIDIA's top GPU until the next generation NVIDIA Ada Lovelace GPU arrive. It sports a complete GA102 chip with 84SM, so there's no room or time for a new Titan card. NVIDIA has said as much as well that the 3090 Ti brings Titan class performance and features, specifically the 24GB RAM into the GeForce brand. If you simply must have the fastest graphics card available, the RTX 3090 Ti isn't likely to be surpassed until this fall. Number 2. Radeon R X6800 XD AMD Radeon R X6800 XD is the best card for Team Red. The R X6800 XD provides a massive boost in performance and features relative to the previous generation R X5700 XD, as well as adding ray tracing support via DirectX Ray Tracing or Vulkan RT. In our testing, the RX Radeon 6900 XD is technically about 5-7% faster, but it theoretically costs 54% more. That's not a great deal, especially since you don't get more VRAM or any other extras. Do pay attention to the current online prices, however, as the 6900 only costs about $100 extra and might be worth the spend right now. The Navi 21 GPU was affectionately dubbed Big Navi prior to launch by the enthusiast community and we got exactly what we wanted. It's over twice the size of the previous generation Navi 10, with twice the shader cores and twice the RAM. Clock speeds are also boosted into the 2.1-2.4 GHz range, depending on the card model, and AMD did all this without substantially increasing power requirements. The RX 6800 XD is a 300 WTBP, slightly lower than the RTX 3080's 320 WTBP. Number 1. GeForce RTX 3080 NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3080 sports NVIDIA's latest Ampere architecture. It's over 30% faster than the previous Gen 2080 Ti, and supposedly cost $500 less. When we tested the new RTX 3080 Ti, it didn't manage to supplant the incumbent, thanks to its significantly higher pricing. However, do keep an eye out for the RTX 3080 12 GB cards, which at present seems to carry about a $50 price premium a premium well worth paying in our book. If you're serious about maxing out all the graphic settings and you want to play at 4K or 1,404 type, this is the card to get. It's mostly overkill for 1,008 type gaming, unless you're running the latest ray tracing games, in which case DLSS support should also help performance. If you skip the first round of RTX GPU, the RTX 30 series might finally get you you on board the ray tracing train. With potentially double the ray tracing performance of Turing, the RTX 3080 is your best bet at playing games in all their ray trace glory without nuking the piggy bank. So guys, that's all for the top 7 best budget gaming GPU in 2022. The links of all products are given in the description, which are updated for the best prices. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will meet in next video. Till then, take care. Bye.